Uganda. I'm telling you, I'm very excited about tonight's show because we are speaking to one of the most successful coaches on the African continent. Uh, he's uh, uh, got a recorded interview with us, but we shall be live with Dennis Onyango later on uh, on the show as well as, of course, uh, uh, Andrew Mangusha and uh, Max Ali will be joining us uh, from the comfort of their homes to give us more analysis as well. Now, do remember later on in the show as we uh, join in Joel uh, and discuss which team you think in the Premier League is best uh, prepared for the new campaign. We shall be opening up our phone lines. I'm telling you, we shall be opening up our phone lines and you will be joining us uh, in what should be a fantastic show tonight. All right. Now we caught up with uh, the head coach then of uh, the Mamelo de Sundowns, Mr. Pizzo Mosemani, and uh, they are fresh from winning their third title in a row. That was just on Sunday. And by the way, he's fifth as well. Everyone is singing the Brazilians. So first of all, we asked him how hard and how tough it has been for the Brazilians to win the championship this year. Difficult season. We never had a chance or a sniff to be top of the lock this year. Uh, we've been second and we only became top of the lock for about 25 minutes maybe to 30 minutes for the whole year and and that's when we won the lock, the, the league but um, yeah difficult because we were coming from 13 points behind difficult because it was 50th uh, anniversary for us and it was also the same for for our rivals Kaiser Chiefs um, and we were fighting to get the 10th title, we call it La Decima from the Spanish word. Uh, the pressure has been on that and also to win it three times in a row. So there have been so many pressures and breaking rights that are related to win this title and we never had a chance to lead the title, but uh, we stole it to be honest. But okay, but we worked hard to steal it. Well, I tell you what, when he says we stole it, what he practically means is that Kaiser Chiefs were leading that log at some point. Everyone was very comfortable uh, that the Chiefs were actually going to be champions in South Africa this year. Uh, but that did not happen. They won the championship. So after asking that, I asked him again uh, what then it was like uh, to make sure they win the championship, uh, not only just against Kaiser Chiefs, but also in such hard times. Everyone has been discussing uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. This is what he told me. Hello, press box uh, in Uganda. Yeah, difficult football and uh, or within COVID-19, very difficult. Uh, a lot of um, challenges from health uh, reasons, uh, COVID protocols, uh, overloaded games. Uh, crew of vying for the league was us and the Chiefs because we've got a lot of games in hand that came from going to three cup final, two cup finals and also Kev Champions League. So we had a lot of games in hand that we had to catch up with and 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 we had to play every two and a half days. So cause problems, injuries, fatigue, so a loss of form. You can just mention all these things that are, create, that are part of uh, playing two and a, a games, uh, a game in every two and a half days. Yeah, that's what created the anxiety, that's what created the pressure. And that's what created the excitement when you win it. And uh, coming from 13 points behind is unbelievable. That shows a lot of endurance, perseverance, sacrifice, self-confidence, belief. You can just mention all these things that we had in the team. And uh, we ran the ultra marathon and uh, we just won it at the finishing line. Ah, there you go. Very good speech coming through as well from Pizzo Mosimani, the head coach of the Mamelodi Sundowns down in South Africa. They are still celebrating uh, winning yet another ABSA Premier League title. Now, my producer has been very brilliant. After this interview, when we got the interview and we brought it here at NTV, my producer here, Mr. Sean Stewart, said uh, the final part of the interview should be played at the final part of the show. So we have uh, uh, another interesting part of that uh, interesting interview with Pizzo Mosimani when he's specifically having a message for the Ugandan football fans and specifically those at KCCA and Vipers. So wait out for the final part from Pizzo Mosemane later on in the show. Just remind you, later on, we shall be picking phone calls to discuss that big, 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 big plot happening on social media tonight. Which of the Premier League teams do you think is best prepared for the new campaign? It all kicks off on Saturday, and it's live on your World of Champions. Let's quickly cross over to South Africa, though, uh, where Supersport actually has got its headquarters, because we've got that man. Look at him. Dennis Onyango, the captain of the Uganda Cranes, uh, but in yellow this time round, Mamelo de Sundowns, third in a row. My brother, congratulations and welcome to the press box tonight.
Uh, good evening to the viewers and good evening to all Ugandans and the world. And uh, good to be back on the press box. I, as I said before, I think I should be uh, given a job at press box. <laughs> <laughs> We are going to look into it. We are looking for good analysts, and uh, last time you did not make the cut. But don't worry. Uh, we, shall, uh, we shall look at the options, my friend. Uh, first of all, congratulations. Can we look at that medal, Dennis? It looks fantastic. You've just put it down. Ah, I'm telling you. Uh, have you had a moment to, to, to even sleep? Uh, the, the party must have been on since uh, the championship was confirmed. Yeah, I did manage to get some sleep. Uh... Of course, it's, it's been very difficult for the past few three to four weeks because uh, I guarantee you most of the players have been sleeping late around 3 to 4 a.m. because of the stress levels and uh, the games piling up. One would say, yes, you're tired. Why don't you sleep? But you can't sleep when you're stressed up uh, and chasing the games all the time. And uh, when we started, we were not winning and it, it piled us with a lot of more pressure. But uh, thank God we managed to snatch it at the end of the day. Uh, you just listened to your head coach, Pizzo, there, speaking to us, and he was talking about how complicated the season has been uh, with COVID. We had a chat with you when you guys were returning to training. Just, just how massive is the win, then, uh, considering what has been happening in the world? Yeah, it was, uh, it was very difficult for us coming back to football after close to five to six months. Of course, even when we were doing the preseason, in, in Marang, outside Johannesburg, we, we could not play any friendly games. So it was very difficult to know our fitness levels. And uh, I think it costed us a little bit when we started, we restarted the season. That's why we got a lot of draws and a few uh, losses here and there. But uh, I mean, uh, a club like Sundown managed to pick up. We picked up and we knew that uh, it, was, it was about time for us to try and catch up with the, with the Kaiser Chiefs who were top of the log, but uh, it was not easy. I'm telling you, it was not easy for all the so-called big teams because we are used to playing in two packed stadiums. Sometimes, okay, it's not packed, but with a lot of supporters in the stadium. So playing in an empty stadium would really, really favor a, a smaller mm. team because they are used to that. But for us, it was a challenge. But as time went on, we got used to such situations and uh, we managed to get the results at the end of the day. Uh, I mean, winning a championship, Dennis, is always brilliant. Uh, but this one must be even sweeter for the circumstances you've gone through, uh, for it being the third in a row. And then Kaiser Chiefs, the kind of lead they had in the standings in there. For you guys to win it, oh, that, that is quite some spirit, my friend. Well, uh, it, it's, a, it's a sweet win for us, especially that... Uh, we took it from our, our rivals who are Kaiser Chiefs. Of course, last season, again, we took it from uh, Orlando Pirates. But uh, this time around, I think we went on top of the log once in a season, and that was the last day of the season. Uh, Kaiser Chiefs has been top of the log for the last eight to nine months, uh, and they've been winning. But of course, uh, we had confidence, and we kept on believing. I, believe, I, I think I spoke to one of my friends that same day we were playing the final game, and I told him, look, we know what Kaiser Chiefs can do, but we know ourselves. If we win our game, we stand a chance to win the championship, and the guys believed in it. Of course, we were looking into the goal difference, but uh, they fumbled at the end of the day, and they got a draw with Baroka. And for us, we won it. Of course, it's a sweet one because, as I said, we only went on top of the log once, and that was the end of the season. <laughs> I, 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 I like your voice. I like the tone in the voice in there. Uh, one for a champion. Dennis, I'm looking at your statistics here in uh, uh, the, the Absa Premier League. Three titles at Supersport, four titles at Sundowns, the 2016 CAF Champions League, uh, the CAF Super Cup. There's a telecom uh, challenge in there. Uh, as we speak, you're just three trophies from being the most successful player in the South African Premier League history. Does that even make sense, my brother? What a journey you're having. Well, I, first of all, I thank God because uh, uh, things didn't go well, as I said in my previous uh, interviews, that when I joined Sundown, things were not going well. Mm. I spent two years without playing uh, competitive football. So when I got a chance, uh, I had to take it and, uh, of course, try and win as much as I can because in football, you never know when exactly you're going to win again. So when you have the chance to play and win the games or win trophies, you take it with both hands. And, uh, of course... What makes me uh, feel proud of 
this Dennis is that he won three in a row in a row with Supersport and three in a row with Sundown. Of course, that's that's amazing, and uh, I'm happy for this Dennis. But of course, <laughs> teamwork because I didn't play the last few games. I didn't play the last few games. I I I I got injured, and uh, Kennedy Mina took over, and he took the team to the promised land. But I'm happy for the team, and I'm happy for myself. You look at that list, Dennis, then the guys who have won it more than you. I'm looking at Anthony Lafour, uh, who has got 13 uh, trophies in, the, uh, in, in, the, in South Africa. There's uh, Thabo Moki at 14, and then there's Diane Klate at 15. Now, Thabo and uh, Klate are actually retired, so you have a huge chance of actually going on and doing well. But the man who is on the same trophies with you is your captain, Kekana. Just how important is he then, in terms of experience to that side? Well, uh, he's, he's, he's a very amazing guy. For me, he's like a brother, because when he came to Supersport and uh, joining in from Black Leopard, he, he's the one who actually used to drive me around. He phoned me at Supersport, but he used to drive me around. So the bond is strong between me and the captain. And uh, he really inspires me when he tells me stories of where he comes from, coming from a village and turning into a captain, a super captain who won the Champions League. It really inspires me to keep playing football and enjoy myself as much as I can, because when you look at his stats as well, when, when we came back from uh, uh, corona, coronavirus, or oh, sorry, the COVID-19, he's the only player in the PSL that has played all the games. That's like 10 games in a row without being uh, left out. And that's amazing for, for, for his age. He's 35, but his mentality is that he must play all the time and he wants and he gives all his best. So... These are players that I really want to associate with sometimes and they keep me going. They keep you uh, on your toes. And for me, it's, it's, it's an honor to play with such a person. Of course, uh, he's my captain, but at, at, at the end of the day, I need to respect him as a person because he does things that are unbelievable. Dennis, this 2006 12 championship for you uh, in South Africa. I want to congratulate you once again, my brother. Uh, I will not ask you about the prize money. Uh, I'll just ask you about... Uh, <laughs> What's next for you on the calendar now? Short break in there? Well, right now we're still in camp. Uh, we have a net bank up final on Saturday against Bloomfontein Celtic. And we're looking forward to that uh, final as well. We want to take three titles in one, in one season. And I mean, it will be amazing for us. But uh, of course, I still have the one million dollar that uh, I, still, I still have to get from His Excellency, the President. And with my boys, we want to share it, but at the end of the day, Uganda cranes are still to play football, <laughs> and I believe that it will be paid in as soon as possible to the boys to enjoy themselves and uh, build their future. But of course, I'm really, really privileged to be part of the history making Mamelodi Sundowns and the history making Uganda cranes because the guys there are doing an amazing job with you guys. I mean, without the press, I don't think we would go far because right now I'm, I'm live on on TV, but I'm in South Africa, so without you guys, we can't do anything. So I'm, I'm really honored and humbled to be part of this, this, uh, this century. Well, Dennis, from the biggest sports show in the 256, to you, the best goalkeeper on the African continent, once again, congratulations, my brother, and uh, see you when we see you. Thank you very much, and greetings to Kamadi, and congratulations to him, by the way. Arsenal is cleaning up these small trophies. <laughs> I think that's a topic for another day, my friend. We shall, we shall come back to ask the later. That is Dennis Onyango, the captain of the Uganda Cranes, and also a man who's just won his 12th title in South Africa, the third Absa Premier League in a row with Mamelodi Sundowns, him and Pizzo Mosemani, of course, speaking to us exclusively here on the press box. Now, let's take a quick commercial break. When we come back from that break, we shall be joining up with Andrew Mwangusha and Max Ali. Joel Kamadi will be telling us everything online as we jump proper, I'm telling you, proper into uh, the Premier League. Five days away, folks. Five days away. Hey, it's the press box.